Have you ever wondered about the fascinating details behind the making of the 1977 movie, Close Encounters of the Third Kind? This iconic science fiction film, directed by Steven Spielberg, has left an enduring mark on cinematic history. Its story of first contact with extraterrestrial life has captivated audiences for decades. As you revisit this classic, consider whether there are lesser known facts or anecdotes about the movie that intrigue you. Did you know, for instance, that Spielberg was inspired by a real-life UFO sighting in his youth? Or that the film's stunning musical score was composed by the legendary John Williams? While watching Close Encounters, is there a particular scene or moment that has had a lasting impact on you? The awe-inspiring communication between humans and the alien visitors, symbolized by the iconic five-note musical sequence, is a memorable and moving aspect of the film. Now, we'd love to hear your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie. Share your stories and memories in the comments below, and let's keep the conversation about this timeless masterpiece alive. The 1977 movie Close Encounters of the Third Kind had a significant behind-the-scenes secret. To safeguard the film's success and prevent unauthorized copies, the production was shrouded in secrecy. Everyone involved had to wear ID badges, and even Steven Spielberg himself was once denied entry for not having one. This level of secrecy was due to the future of Columbia Pictures relying on the film's success, and Spielberg's determination to avoid TV imitations. This unique aspect of the film's production added to the mystique and intrigue surrounding it. In the 1977 movie Close Encounters of the Third Kind, a curious fact stands out. All of the stars in the background of the night shots, as well as many distant trees, hills, roads, etc., were special effects and not real. This applies even to scenes without special effects, such as when Neri's truck is just driving along country roads. This unique approach to creating the movie's visuals added to its overall mystique and wonder, enhancing the audience's experience. It's just one of the many intriguing aspects of this iconic film. When principal photography began again on May 16, 1976, the budget had risen in stages to $11 million and kept climbing as Steven Spielberg expanded his ideas. Close encounters of the third kind faced budget challenges during its production. Initially planned as a $2.5 million project, the film's budget grew significantly as Steven Spielberg pursued his creative vision. When principal photography resumed in May 1976, the budget had already reached $11 million. This financial strain continued to increase as Spielberg expanded on his ideas for the film. The growing budget was a testament to Spielberg's determination to bring his vision to life. The film's success was crucial for Columbia Pictures, and this financial investment was a gamble. It reflects the ambitious scope of the project and the director's commitment to creating an iconic science fiction masterpiece. Despite the financial pressures, Spielberg's dedication to the film ultimately paid off, making Close Encounters of the Third Kind a landmark in cinematic history. In the making of the 1977 movie Close Encounters of the Third Kind, there's an intriguing tidbit that sheds light on the dedication of one of its cast members. Melinda Dillon, who portrayed a key character, had a broken big toe when the location shooting began in May 1976 at Devil's Tower. Despite the pain and the fear of being replaced, Dillon persevered through the scenes where she, Richard Dreyfus, and Joseph Sommer make a frantic dash for the mountain. This demonstrates the commitment and resilience of the cast and crew, showing how they overcame challenges to bring this iconic science fiction film to life. Aya Re, Aya, the words chanted by the crowd in India, meaning he has come in Hindi, add an interesting cultural dimension to the movie. However, it's the dedication and determination of the cast and crew, as exemplified by Melinda Dillon's efforts, that truly highlight the passion that went into making close encounters of the third kind. The UFO landing site in the 1977 movie Close Encounters of the Third Kind was a massive construction, standing at 27 meters high, 137 meters long, and 76 meters wide. This monumental set was the largest indoor film set ever built, featuring 6.4 kilometers of scaffolding, 1570 square meters of fiberglass, and 2740 square meters of nylon canopy. Such an impressive creation added to the film's visual grandeur, 
making it a significant achievement in cinematic history. The sheer scale of this set speaks to the dedication and ambition of the filmmakers involved in bringing close encounters of the third kind to life. This fact showcases the monumental efforts put into the movie's production, underscoring its significance in the world of filmmaking. No one was more surprised than Steven Spielberg when his first choice to play the Frenchman, Franois Truffaut, said yes to appearing in his first American film. Truffaut's involvement in the 1977 movie Close Encounters of the Third Kind added a unique and unexpected element to the production. The iconic French director's presence brought an international flair to the film and marked a significant moment in his career. This unexpected collaboration between Spielberg and Truffaut highlighted the cross-cultural appeal of the movie and contributed to its enduring legacy. The partnership between these two cinematic titans showcased the film's ability to bring together talents from different parts of the world and solidified close encounters of the third kind as a milestone in cinematic history. It was a pivotal moment when Hollywood and international cinema converged to create a science fiction masterpiece. In the 1977 movie Close Encounters of the Third Kind, there's an intriguing behind-the-scenes fact about actor Bob Balaban. He kept a diary of the events during production, and this diary was eventually published to coincide with the film's release. Balaban's diary provided a unique insight into the making of the iconic movie, giving fans a closer look at the creative process behind the scenes. It's a testament to the dedication and documentation that went into bringing close encounters of the third kind to life. In a pivotal scene of close encounters of the third kind, the character Ronnie is seen cutting out a newspaper article about UFO sightings. Interestingly, on the reverse side of the UFO article, there's an article about another iconic film, Star Wars, Episode IV A New Hope. This subtle inclusion of the Star Wars article juxtaposed with the UFO news adds an intriguing layer of interconnectedness between two legendary sci-fi films of the era, subtly woven into the backdrop of close encounters of the third kind. This connection could be seen as a nod to the concurrent rise of science fiction and cinema during that period, offering a subtle yet compelling detail for attentive viewers. As our journey through the enigmatic realms of close encounters of the third kind draws to a close, take a moment to ponder the profound impact this cinematic gem has had on your soul. This remarkable creation of Spielberg's vision in 1977 not only mesmerized with its stunning visuals, but also ignited a sense of wonder, leaving an indelible mark on our collective imagination. Reflect on the essence of humanity's quest for connection bit with the extraterrestrial, or the profound connections we seek in our own lives. What elements of this film resonated within you? Was it the majestic musical communication or the character's unwavering pursuit of the unknown? Now, share your cherished memories, thoughts, and insights this masterpiece stirred within you. Unveil the layers of emotion, intrigue, or even a newfound perspective it may have unfurled. Let your experiences weave a tapestry of appreciation for this cinematic marvel. This timeless piece continues to beckon us to explore the unknown, encouraging us to embrace the inexplicable, fostering a deeper understanding of our place in the universe. Thank you for sharing in this ode to the exceptional. Your reflections add a unique hue to this cinematic canvas. Your time and consideration are deeply appreciated.